Welcome to the Checkpoint Jumpstart Training. How to deploy a CloudGuard network security and threat prevention product lab. Exercise three, how to deploy a CloudGuard gateway. In the previous exercise, we deployed a CloudGuard management station on our VPC and attached it to the front end subnet. In this third exercise, we're going to deploy a CloudGuard gateway. And we are going to place it in between the front end and the back end subnet. Meaning that it will have one NIC attached to the front end subnet and another NIC attached to the back end subnet. And finally, we're going to establish SIC and then configure and push a policy. Let's get started. Again, connect to your Azure account. Go to the home menu and select create a resource. This will take you to the marketplace search bar. Here we type checkpoint. We get a few firewalls that pop up, but we want to install the cloud guard. So select it. Again, this is the same product as before. And we have three types of firewalls that we can deploy. We have the single gateway. We have the high availability solution. And we also have the highly scalable cloud guard scale set. We're going to keep it simple in this lab. So let's select the cloud guard single gateway. Click create. Okay. We need to add some basic configurations. The subscription, we will keep the same. For the resource group, we need to select an unused resource group. The first two we have already used, so we cannot use them. We get an error that they are being used. So let's select the third one in my list. Again, depending on your account permissions, you might need to create a completely new resource group. We will keep the region the same, like always, East US. For the virtual machine name, I will use CPI GW. Let's enter a password. I will use the same password that I used before on the management station. This makes administering both machines easier. Again, we have to meet the same password restrictions, just like before. We need to confirm the password and we need to be sure that they match. Once again, we get a green icon, so we're good to go. Select next to proceed to configure the checkpoint cloud guard settings. Again, we're going to select the R80.40 gateway version. One more time, select the pay as you go license. We'll keep the default VM size. Installation type is gateway only. Now we need to add the SIG key. The SIG key is like a password that will be used to build trust between the management station and the gateway. It is used to build a secure communication channel over an SSL link. All internal communication will be encrypted using this SSL link. We need to confirm the SIG key. Select next to configure the network settings. We will add this gateway to my VNet virtual network the gateway will need to be hooked up to two networks. On the front side, we select the front end subnet that we used before, the 10.0.0.0/24. On the back side, we select the back end subnet that we created, the 10.0.1.0/24. Finally, let's now select review and create. The verification We'll verify that all the information 
that we entered is correct. Oops, notice that it found an issue. Let's take a look. There is an asterisk on the Checkpoint Cloud Guard settings page. Let's take a look there. Found the problem. The SIG password did not match. Let's fix and confirm that. We get a green icon, so we are good to go. Let's review and create one more time. Perfect. The verification is complete and we're good to create. Hit create. It's now deploying a CloudGuard gateway and this step can take a while. For time constraints, I will fast forward to the end of the completion stage. A few minutes have elapsed to complete the gateway deployment. Let's select Go to Resource. Let's select the Virtual Machine Resource, the CGI Gateway Virtual Machine. Again, I want to check that IP address. Just as before, we never specified an IP address. The Azure software will add a private IP address and a public IP address. Let's select Copy Public IP Address. Let's open a browser tab and connect to the gateway. HTTPS colon whack whack 23.101.141.87. Let's proceed to continue. Nice. We get the Gaia login page. So far, so good. Let's log in. Enter the username and password. We're in. The gateway is up and running. Let's once again take a look at a few things while we are here. Let's go to the network interfaces. We have three IP addresses. ETH0 has a 10.0.0.5. This is the second IP in the front end subnet. Remember that dot four is the management station IP. So dot five is the next available IP address. Then the Azure software also created an alias, ETH0 colon 1 with a public IP of 23.101.141.87. And the third IP address is on ETH1, which is connected to the backend subnet 10.0.1.4. Again, this is the first IP in the backend subnet. Let's take a look at the routes. We have, again, the default gateway of 10.0.0.1, which is the implied gateway that Azure creates for us. I will use this gateway as the path of last resort. Everything looks good. Let's move on to the next step. We're going to establish SICK and push a policy. Let's open the Smart Console to the Management Station. Connecting. Initializing. Loading. Launching. Good, we have Smart Console access. Let's select the Gateway and Server tab and select the Create icon. We'll create a new gateway. Let's use the wizard mode, but you can also use the classic mode if you like. We need to add the gateway name CGI 
GW. We need to select the gateway type. In this case, it's CloudGuard IAAS with IP address of 10.0.0.5, which is the private IP on the front end subnet. This will be the IP address that the management station will be using to connect to the gateway because they are on the same network. Now we need to enter the SIC activation key, which is the SIC password that we used during the deployment stage. Hit enter. Trust is established since we got the pop-up interface page. Uncheck the Edit Gateway Properties box for now. We will make changes later. Select Finish. The gateway object is completed. Now we'll need to create and push out a policy. Select the Security Policy tab. We will just change the cleanup rule to allow all traffic. Change the accent to accept and track to log. Select installation policy icon. Confirm by selecting publish and install. Policy is being published. Uncheck the threat prevention check mark. We won't be configuring threat prevention policy in this lab. Then select install. Policy is now installing. I like to view the details. Policy installation is completed. Let's close this box. Let's go now to the logs and monitoring tab. We want to check and see if we have logging communication. We have logs. Notice that the logs origin is from the gateway, CGI GW. We have a success. Before exiting this lab, let's recap exercise three. In this lab, we deployed the Nazar Cloud Guard gateway. We deployed a gateway in between our two subnets, the front end and the back end. In the front end, we received an IP address of 10.0.0.5/24. And in the backend subnet, we received an IP of 10.0.1.4/24. The Azure software also provided us with a public IP address of 23.101.141.87. We then opened a smart console to the management station. We then established SIC between the management station and the gateway, and we pushed a simple any, any, any policy. That completes the end of exercise three. In the next exercise, we will deploy a web server. I'll see you there.